Imagine floating in the vastness of space, fixing a high-tech station orbiting Earth, knowing that every move counts. That's exactly what the Shenzhou-19 astronauts just accomplished. In a daring 8.5-hour spacewalk, China's astronauts installed critical shielding to protect Tiangong's power cables from deadly space debris, a mission that pushes China's space capabilities even further. In this video, we'll delve into the mission's objectives, the groundbreaking achievements of the crew, and the broader implications for China's space ambitions. On October 30, 2024, China launched the Shenzhou-19 spacecraft, marking another crucial step in its ambitious space program. The mission carried three astronauts, Tsai Zhe, Song Lingdong, and Wang Haozhe to the Tiangong Space Station, where they embarked on a series of critical tasks to enhance the station's operations and infrastructure. This mission wasn't just routine. It was about pushing the boundaries of human spaceflight and ensuring the station's longevity. Upon arrival, the crew completed a rapid autonomous docking with the Tianhe core module, significantly reducing transit time and allowing them to begin their mission immediately. This efficiency is a testament to China's advancing spaceflight capabilities, reinforcing its growing independence in space operations. One of the most remarkable achievements of the Shenzhou-19 mission was its record-breaking extravehicular activity, EVA. On December 17, 2024, astronauts Kai Shuzhe and Song Lingdong conducted a nine-hour spacewalk breaking previous records and demonstrating China's ability to sustain long-duration operations outside the spacecraft. The main objectives of this EVA included installing debris protection shields to safeguard the station's critical systems, inspecting external structures for potential weaknesses or damage, testing astronaut endurance and operational efficiency in prolonged spacewalks. The crew completed their second EVA, lasting 8.5 hours. This time, they focused on installing additional protective structures for power cables to prevent damage from space debris, conducting system checks to ensure long-term station stability, fine-tuning the robotic arm to assist future missions with extravehicular tasks. Aside from spacewalks, the crew is conducting over 80 scientific and technological experiments, covering fields such as microgravity physics, advanced materials, space medicine, and life sciences. One particularly exciting experiment involves exposing simulated lunar soil bricks to space conditions, a step toward constructing sustainable habitats on the moon using in-situ resources. The Shenzhou-19 mission is a defining moment for China's space ambitions. While spacewalks might seem routine for established agencies like NASA and Roscosmos, this mission signals China's mastery over complex space operations. More importantly, it showcases China's ability to sustain and improve its space station, something that only a few nations have achieved. One of the most critical accomplishments of this mission was the installation of space debris protection systems. Space debris is a growing problem, with millions of fragments orbiting Earth at high speeds, posing a severe threat to satellites and space stations. By fortifying Tiangong against potential impacts, China is ensuring that the station remains operational for years to come, even in an increasingly cluttered orbital environment. Another significant aspect of this mission was the record-breaking spacewalk on December 17, 2024. It not only set a new world record for EVA duration, but also demonstrated China's technical maturity in astronaut endurance, life support, and spacewalk execution. This places China among the elite nations capable of sustaining prolonged human activity in space, a crucial skill for future lunar and Martian expeditions. Beyond its technical achievements, Shenzhen-19 highlights China's progress in astronaut training and diversity. Wang Hao's inclusion in this mission represents a milestone for women in China's space program, encouraging broader participation in STEM fields and aerospace careers. Her role also reinforces China's emphasis on developing specialized astronaut expertise, moving beyond pilots to include engineers and scientists. The scientific experiments conducted aboard Tiangong are another huge leap forward. Research in microgravity physics, space medicine, and material science is paving the way for innovations that could benefit both space missions and life on Earth. The lunar soil exposure experiment in particular is groundbreaking. If successful, it could prove that materials found on the moon can be used to build lunar bases. 
drastically reducing costs for future moon missions. Furthermore, the efficiency of China's rapid docking technology is proving to be a game-changer. By minimizing the time it takes for astronauts to reach their station, China is increasing the safety and effectiveness of its missions. This kind of innovation will be essential for deep space travel, where timing and resource management are critical to mission success. The success of Shenzhen 19 is a stepping stone to even bigger plans. China is not content with just operating a space station. It has much larger ambitions, including a crew mission to the moon and a future Mars exploration program. One of the most anticipated next steps is China's first crewed moon mission, targeted for 2030. The goal? To land astronauts on the lunar surface, conduct scientific research, and lay the groundwork for permanent lunar bases. The experience gained from long-duration spacewalks and space station maintenance on Tiangong is crucial for these lunar endeavors. China is also ramping up its Mars program. Following the success of the Tianwen-1 mission and the Zhuzhong rover, the next major leap will be a Mars sample return mission, where China aims to bring back Martian soil and rocks by 20 AD. This mission will provide invaluable data about the Red Planet's geological history and potential for life. Beyond Mars, China has its sights on Jupiter's moons. The planned Tianwen-4 mission, set for 2029, will explore Callisto, one of the prime candidates for harboring extraterrestrial life. Additionally, this mission will perform a Uranus flyby, which could revolutionize our understanding of ice giants and planet formation. At the same time, China's Tiangong space station will continue expanding, with new modules planned to be added in the coming years. Unlike the aging International Space Station, ISS, which may be decommissioned by 2030, Tiangong is built to last longer, potentially becoming the only active space station in orbit. This opens up the possibility for international collaboration as countries seeking space research opportunities might turn to China's station as an alternative to the ISS. China's space strategy is highly structured, focusing on gradual advancements rather than risky leaps. This methodical approach ensures long-term success, allowing China to establish itself as a dominant space power by 2050. The lessons learned from Shenzhou 19, from long-duration EVAs to station maintenance, are all crucial building blocks for this vision. Shenzhou 19 is more than just another mission. It's proof that China is here to stay in space. With lunar ambitions, interplanetary missions, and an ever-expanding station, the country is on the fast track to reshaping the future of space exploration. The Shenzhou 19 crew's successful completion of their second spacewalk marks a significant milestone in China's space exploration journey. Their achievements not only enhance the operational capabilities of the Tiangong space station, but also underscore China's growing prominence in the global space community. As China continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, the world eagerly anticipates the advancements and discoveries that lie ahead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.